so here we go i'm creating a new next.js project this is an empty folder i'll do npx create next app at latest dot slash so dot slash means i'm creating the project in the same folder i open i choose default settings now i'll open chat cn i'm going to install data table component from chat cn so in the docs uh, i have these commands for installation i'll just copy and paste them in the, in my terminal so i've just did it you can see there's a component folder created now i'll go through the docs on how to use this table so here is the folder structure this is columns so what i'll do is i'll just copy this code and paste in my editor so i've just copied the items and so this is my table component and i've just pasted it in the payments folder i have all three files pasted from the docs now this is my home page i'm running my project npm run dev yeah so now i'll open the browser and go to localhost 3000 so this is my home page here i'll go to payments page so this is the table i have now currently you can see the stack header is not sticky so now i will go to the page payments page you can see the data here i got this data from chat gpt dummy data i have 20 items i uh, pasted the json from the docs and asked the chat gpt to give me dummy data i also edited the type of status to string you can it depends on your choice i have did this to avoid type errors now I'll open my globals.css here I will have some class names I will create some utility classes uh, so basically I'm creating three different classes one for sticky header one for table content and uh, last one for to give a shadow effect to the table header so here you can see this is my basic CSS I have created in my globals.css table container this is for shadow effect so now i'm going to use these classes in my table so i have just opened my table in the parent of the table that is here i'll use table container class so it basically have some height and uh, now I have to add the sticky header class to the table headers. You can see in the data table, I am adding the sticky header class name to the table header. Now we will check the table. So yeah, now the header is sticky but uh, the text is overlapping in the header due to uh, transparent background. Now I am going to give some color to the uh, background for sticky header here I will change the color background color to white and it already has got a higher Z index so if you check now yeah this is perfect